what's up towners we're back um <laughs> i just feel like i need redemption on that omelet i don't know why i've been thinking about it uh, i don't know it, it, i just been thinking about the what what the difference was and i think i figured it out i know i said it yesterday but i think that the ultimate issue was when i made it the first time i believe i put the uh i put the heavy whipping cream into the pan first to allow the pan to cool down because when I put the uh, eggs in, I was watching rewatching the video. When I put the eggs in, I believe they seized up a bit. Not even seize up, but they just uh, started cooking really quickly because the pan was already hot. And when I started stirring around, it already kind of locked up a bit. So I think that helped with not allowing them to coat the pan properly because. When I put them in with the um, heavy whipping cream, it allowed them to basically move around the pan freely and be mixed up inside the heavy whipping cream. I'm just thinking, but anyway, we're gonna redo it. So. <laughs> Here we have some. Uh, I put them putting a lot more veggies this time, just because I want more flavor to it. But uh, and heat. But this is just basically onions, garlic, and some uh, jalapeno. Mix up the eggs this time. <laughs> These four eggs and heavy whipping cream. All right, the garlic is starting to brown. Don't want to burn that, so add the egg on. That looks a lot more like what we had the last time. And I don't like wasting nothing to get it all out. Let's hit this up with some salt and pepper. Don't need any onion or garlic powder because we already have that in there. I'm gonna try to flip this one. I know this is it's big. I don't know what's gonna happen. I might have to, you know, have an omelet like it is, just fold it over and leave it as it is. But for some reason, I want to flip it. I'm gonna try. I might break it, and then we're gonna be just jacked up again with more regular eggs. <laughs> The liquid is making it a little bit more heavier, harder to flip. Alright, let's try it. 
I have some uh, frozen avocados that I get from Walmart. They thaw out really quickly, so I'm just gonna let the heat from the eggs thaw those out with the cheese. And once we fold it over, the heat from the inside of the eggs will help me get that along with this cheese. And that's it guys, big armor for me and my wife. I didn't even ask her what she wants, I hope she wants eggs this morning. <laughs> oh hi, good morning. Do you want eggs this morning? Because <laughs> if you don't, <laughs> you gotta eat something else. You want some eggs? Yeah. Okay. Alright. We're good. Let's take this out the pan. Alright, guys. Here is our omelet. Let's see what it's looking like down the middle. Alright, let's flip it over. See everything inside? Avocados. Jalapenos, onion, and garlic all over the outside and inside the omelet. Looking good. All right, Towners, here we go. Got some redemption on these eggs. <laughs> omelet came out nice. Um, Again, I think the issue was the uh, pan being too hot and the eggs got dropped in. So, but hey, again, it doesn't matter how it how it goes. As long as it comes out tasting good, let's give it a taste test. Okay, okay, I lost those avocados. Still good. The um, I'm saying still good, but you you don't get the garlic as strong as you did on the previous ones because that was just just garlic. So the onions and the avocados and cheese I was added to this, it kind of um, takes away a little bit of the garlic. So if you want that strong strong garlic taste, just go ahead and do that by itself. But it's a nice spicy veggie omelet that does the job. As always, guys, enjoy. Try this recipe out. Any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. And please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey, Towners. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.